Hey there, Seahawks, and welcome back to another episode of Seahawks Central News. I'm Sydney Bouchel. And I'm Patrick Hogan. We've got a lively show for you here today with an update on the Wilmington film scene and a progress report on We Wilm Rebuild. We've also got a look at the Cape Fear Fair, UNCW Writers Week, and a lot more. So sit down and stay tuned. Because Seahawks Central News starts right now. Last week, I told you that Wilmington's film scene has been heating up this year. After 2017 brought one production here to town, it's looking like 2018 will have brought three film and television productions to town this year. It started off this spring with words on bathroom walls shooting in town. Hurricane Florence put a hold on a few projects that were aiming to shoot here in the fall, but Hulu shot a pilot for a potential new television show named Reprisal back in October. If the show gets picked up, we could expect more of the series to be shot here in town. DC Comics is also planning on shooting their upcoming streaming show, Swamp Thing, here later this month. With the state changing the way their film and television grants work in this year's budget, hopefully we'll see more productions coming into town in the future. Now we have Isabella Bailey in studio to tell us about an event for potential Seahawks next Saturday. Saturday, November 3rd, UNCW will host Seahawks Saturday for prospective college students. High school seniors and transfer students who are considering attending UNCW will be on campus all day. They'll be participating in activities, informational sessions, and learning about the school. Residence hall tours will also be given in Swartz, Cornerstone, and Honors House. Heavier than normal traffic entering and exiting campus is to be expected between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. For many students, Seahawk Saturday is the first impression of our school. So if you happen to pass by some tour groups on Chancellor, say hi and show a little Seahawk spirit. Another Writers Week comes to UNCW this week with the Creative Writing Department hosting a series of talks between October 29th and November 2nd. This year's Writers Week comes after the launch of a new series of essays from within the Writing Department. There will be panels, craft talks, and more with contributing members of the new publication. These events are completely free and for all the writers out there, you can find the schedule on them at uncw.edu slash writersweek. Seahawks, it's that time of the year again. Daylight Savings Time comes into effect on Sunday, November 4th. Bring our clocks back an hour. If you have an early class coming up next week, make sure you're setting back those alarm clocks. Associate Dean of Research and Innovation Justine Real received Wilma Magazine's Women to Watch Award in the education category. Real spoke with the College of Health and Human Services and said, quote, it was an honor to represent CHHS and UNCW in the education category and to be selected for this prestigious award. The finalists in my category are making huge impacts and were quite deserving of this distinction, end quote. Associate Dean Real develops programs for those in the UNCW community pursuing research, holds regular writing circles for faculty, and hosts coffee hour events for networking and discussing various topics. Now I'm going to kick it to Hannah Creech to tell us a little bit about another event happening in town this week. The Cape Fear Fair and Expo is back in town this week. It kicked off on October 26th and will run through Monday, November 5th. There are many activities to enjoy such as Old McNally's Pig Derby, food, carnival rides, livestock, and even a comedy hypnotist. For more information or to look at the daily schedule, visit thecapefearfair.com. It's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Hannah. This is our last show before the midterm elections, and we'd be missing out by not telling you to go out and go vote. If you aren't registered to vote yet in North Carolina, you can do early voting registration at any of the early voting sites in New Hanover County. You can register to vote and cast a ballot on the same day. Of course, this is possible through November 3rd, next Saturday. You can find these locations on the North Carolina Board of Elections website, so get out and go vote. The day of elections is November 6th. We have another update on We Will Rebuild, the student group dedicated to relief efforts for Hurricane Florence. I talked with Jasmine Van Scoy again, and she told me about some of the progress they've had in the two weeks since we covered them last. During this time, they've been able to get the rest of the donation supplies to places hardest hit by the hur hurricane, like Burgaw. This didn't come easy as their tractor trailer bringing supplies here ended up flipping into a ditch, needing a crane to pull it back out. The group has partnered with Wilmington Response to store and distribute the supplies. The group attended Trunk or Treat on Halloween and they handed out supplies to members of the community there. We Wilm Rebuild has a lot of big things in the works and we'll be continuing our coverage on them going forward. The Carousel Center's annual Beer and Wine Festival was this past Saturday, October 27th by the Cape Fear River. The event is presented every year by Lighthouse Beer and Wine, and this year tickets sold out at a venue with a whopping capacity of 3,000 people. Over 100 craft breweries and wineries had booths at the event, along with vendors like Tamati and Pantia Brewing Company for those who purchased designated driver tickets. 
Well, that's it for us. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to UNCW Teal TV on your favorite social media platform. If you have story suggestions or just want to talk about the show today, drop us a comment. For Seahawks Central News, I'm Patrick Hogan. And I'm Sydney Bouchelle. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.